This was a requested video. Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. This is my organized kitchen tour and I will be taking you to each and every corner of my kitchen. So let's get started right now. And now we're going to take a quick glance of how the, uh, the back part of my kitchen looks like, which is the one that has the kitchen cabinets as well as the kitchen countertops. In this section here we have the cooktop, the microwave and the oven. This here is a double window and it's very nice because I get a lot of sunlight and I have decorated with this small little plant and this little owl. In here I have this cute little hard hooks and I have hanged my pot holders. And in this section right here I have my cooking oils and in here I have an induction cooktop. In here is the range hood or as some people know it the chimney that goes over the cooktop. This here are my kitchen countertops and as you could see they're not overcrowded. In here I only have what I need on daily basis. Why? Because I have a lot of kitchen cabinet space that I could put a lot of my stuff in there and this way I don't have to overcrowd my kitchen countertops. Now in here is my kitchen sink and right next to my kitchen sink is this cake stand. Now this cake stand was a DIY that I made myself. In here I have a dishwashing liquid soap bottle, I have a brush for the vegetables, I also have the sponges to wash the dishes, dish towels and in here I have a sponge to clean my kitchen countertops. In here I have my upper kitchen cabinets and as you could see in the middle of the two long and narrow cabinets I have this little nook and then in this little nook I have this little plants as decoration. This here is the upper kitchen cabinet near the stove. This one is storing all of my glassware. And this is the second long and narrow upper kitchen cabinet. In here I am storing all of my dinner plates as well as all of the small dessert plates and all of the bowls. And in here I have attached some rope lighting. This rope lighting is LED and it's under my upper kitchen cabinets. Now this lights change color. And as you could see here, it's changing to many different colors. Now I have a lot of color options on my remote and this looks really, really cool at night because you could change the color of your kitchen according to whatever mood you have. And in here I have my bottom kitchen cabinets and I will be showing you inside of each and every cabinet as well as inside of every single drawer. Everything that I have stored and everything that I have put inside of them. In the first drawer here I have stored all of my coffee mugs as well as the coffee sets that I have with the little plates and the little saucers. And on this drawer here I have stored everything that I need for baking. I have my hand mixer, I have the measuring cups, measuring spoons, I have all of my cooking spices, everything that I need to bake. This is the first drawer which is underneath my cooktop. In here I am storing all of my eating utensils as well as all of my kitchen gadgets. On this drawer here I am storing all of my food storage containers as well as some serving plates. And 
And on this drawer here I am storing all of my mixing bowls as well as my Pyrex. In here I have a condiment rolling rack which is right next to my stove which is storing every single bottled condiment that I have. Like for example the cooking oils, the vinegars, anything that is a bottle I'm storing it here. And this here is my blind bottom corner cabinet. In here I am using the scoop organizer from Ikea. This one is sold in the closet section to organize your clothes. As you could see here I am organizing all of my food items. On the bottom part I am using plastic bins to store food items. Now these plastic bins are going to double as kitchen drawers. In here is my dishwasher which looks like part of the bottom kitchen cabinets. And this section here is underneath my kitchen sink. In here I am storing every single cleaning supply that I have. I have organized all of my cleaning supplies by categories. For example, I have all of my floor cleaners into one little bucket. I have all of the bathroom cleaners into another bucket all of the dishwashing uh, supplies in another bucket, all of the dish cloth and dish towels in another bucket. I have everything organized very neatly in place so I will know where everything is. And on the first small drawer I have all the utensils that I need for cooking. And on the second small drawer I have more kitchen utensils. And on the third small drawer I have all of my paper items. In here I have my aluminum foil, I have my freezer bags, I also have the cling wrap, I have also the wax paper which is the baking paper and in here is the last drawer and in this drawer I am storing all of the small dessert plates, the small of the small bowls, the egg holders, the little sauce containers. And in here are the kitchen cabinets which are right next to the oven and the microwave. In this little basket which is in the hanging wire basket I have all of my scented candles. On this upper cabinet I have some large platters as well as more glassware. On this cabinet here I am storing all of my kitchen pots and pans as well as all of my baking pans. And on the door I am maximizing the space by hanging colanders and all of the small little gadgets that I have. In here I have built my own kitchen pantry by using two Gersby bookcases from Ikea. On the side of the bookcases I am maximizing the space by putting some little hooks and hanging all of my trivets.
In this section here, I am storing all of my small kitchen appliances as well as some other stuff that I will go section by section right now with you. In this section here, I have my soda maker, my immersion blender, and my crepe maker. In this section here, I have my small food processor, I have a small juicer, and I have a funnel when I make my marmalades, and also some small little plastic plates. In this section here, I have some glass bottles, and this gold drawer system is a DIY which I made myself. In here, I am storing all of my spare spices, as well as some spices which I use in very rare occasions. In this section here, I have my rice maker as well as my food processor. In this wicker basket here, I have all of my vegetable slicers as well as my vegetable grater and I also have my french fry slicer. And on this wicker basket here, I am storing my blender. On this wire hanging basket, I have the bottles for my soda maker as well as a drinking bottle. And on this bottom shelf, I have my air fryer. In here, I have a dining table which is made out of pine. My husband made this and the, the table sits comfortably six people but I have it set up in the kitchen to seat only four people. Now for decoration here, I have a tray which it looks very zen, I have a Buddha, I have a little plant and I also have some little candles. This clock that you see here is a DIY that I made myself and the background of the clock is a black wall which is painted with chalkboard paint. I can easily write anything that I want on this wall. And underneath my kitchen sink area I have put this little cute carpet which it serves as nice decoration. I hope you have enjoyed this video and if you have please go ahead give it a thumbs up and if you have not subscribed to this channel please go ahead and do it now and thanks for watching bye